Hui Hui, let me tell you something. If PV is the government, you can be sure that your three children will have free education right up to university. All right? But you will not get this under the PAP, who would rather spend hundreds of millions of dollars every year on scholarships for foreign students. You know something? If PV is in government, yes, we will give our scholarships to foreign students, but that is going to be drastically reduced. You know, when I was a student in England, there were no scholarships given by the British government to foreign students to the extent that the PAP gives out scholarships to foreign students here. Yeah, you may have a sprinkling of scholarships, you know, like the Commonwealth scholarships or whatever, and I'm not even sure that the British government uh, sponsors that or funds that. And then if you're lucky enough and you go to some richer colleges, for example, in Oxbridge, all right, yes, you get funding because they have a very strong uh, program. I, well, all of a sudden, I can't remember that word, endowment program. I went to a college in Cambridge, which is very well endowed. So I had half my fees paid, but that was by the college itself. Yeah. So, you know, again, I raised this thing about the TFR. <coughs> Recently, <coughs> two Harvard professors wrote a book. The names are difficult to uh, pronounce. The title of the book is called How Democracies Die. All right? And in it, they said, no society which promotes the influx of immigrants to a level where the immigration population exceeds the native population ever succeeds. They die. And it is true. Because can you imagine when you bring in so many people and you do not properly integrate them into society? All right? Hey, you bring in foreigners. It doesn't mean foreign talent is great, all right? There is a difference in culture. There is a difference in identity. And after a while, what happens? Society splinters. Now, Lee Kuan Yew recognized this in the 80s and the 90s. But it is a sad fact that today, his successors don't. And they can only tell you about how great foreign talent is. You know, my fellow Singaporeans, we have wonderful Singaporean talent going to waste here, driving taxis. Yeah. Instead of making our country stronger and more solid, the PAP is bringing in huge numbers of foreigners. Very soon, I am told, in fact, at this point in time, already if you take into account the new citizens, 50, about 55% of our workforce are foreign born. In 1990, the number of foreign born residents in Singapore made up about 19%, no, sorry, about, about 20, 20, 20, 24% of the population. In 2020, that number had gone up to 43%. 19% relative increase in three decades. With a TFR of 1.12, and if not for people like Han Hui Hui, who are still you know, fighting the tide, very soon, my fellow Singaporeans, locally born Singaporeans, are going to be in the minority. And we should not be celebrating that. Han Wee Hui, Lin Tian has just talked about foreign talent. Wow, and then your baby unity will start making noise already. <laughs> now, in the social media, people are talking about broken promises. One of the broken promises is what Tian has just mentioned. And I read this to you. The broken promise that over the years, repeatedly, the same narrative that foreign talent 
will bring more and better jobs for Singaporeans. What are your thoughts on this?